welcome to my channel my name is Mia and today we have a very fun book review I'm going to be reviewing the graveyard book by Neil Gaiman this was the first book of Neil Gaiman that I've read and it has not been a disappointment it was such an entertaining book it was so much fun to read it's a kids book but it does carry a big message as well so any age reader would definitely enjoy this book because it was great. I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. So this book features Nobody Owens who goes for sure by Bud. When Bud was a baby, his family was murdered. He was also supposed to be murdered, however, he managed to crawl away into a graveyard up the street from his house where he was adopted by a couple of ghosts, Mr. and Mrs. Owens. Bud ends up growing up in this graveyard where he has t-shirts and tutors and a guardian and his t-shirts and tutors are ghosts and his guardian is neither dead nor alive. So that's interesting. There are other creatures as well involved in this story. There are quite a lot of adventures in the story as well. Now Bud can't leave the graveyard because Jack, the killer who killed his family, is still out there and he is still looking for him. So he is forced to hide in this graveyard and live in this graveyard. As the story progresses, you also get to feel a little bit of the struggles that Bud goes through because of course, as any growing boy, he wants to mix a little bit more with the living people and you know with kids his age that are alive and not dead. Again this is the first book I ever read by Neil Gaiman and I have to say I love his writing style. It is very easy, it is very straightforward, it is such a flowing writing style. It's like having a conversation with somebody that's how easy it is to understand his stories and to understand what he's trying to tell you as a writer. He doesn't add any unnecessary information to his stories. You basically get what you need to know when you need to know it. So it's not confusing and it's not overloaded with information. Because of the way he writes, he does create quite a lot of suspense. So even though this is a kid's story, it's a kid's book, it does pack quite a lot of suspense and kind of drama and mystery to the story. So you find yourself wondering most of the story, what's gonna happen next? And how did this happen? And who, what, why, how? And it's just fascinating. It's definitely a page turner. It's very, very enjoyable. The main character here as well, Nobody Owens or Bud, is so likable and I don't know if that's necessarily because of the style of writing or just because of how he described him. Nobody Owens or Bud Owens is a very smart kid, he's very well behaved, however he is a bit mischievous because of how curious he is, so he does get quite in a lot of very sticky situations but like I said he's very smart so he manages to get out of all of them very smoothly. He is also a very kind boy so he wants to help people, he wants to do the right thing. It's just a very very reliable very likable character and I enjoyed reading about him very very much because he was just so realistic. So now the only reason why I didn't give this book a 5 out of 5 stars is because I kind of wish the villains on the story would have been a little bit more elaborated. Basically, you dislike Jack, the killer, mostly just because he killed his family. There's not much background and as the story progresses, it really creates the suspense as of why his family was murdered and who this Jack person is and what drives him to do this. So you have all this kind of schemed, you know, scenarios in your head and then is never fully explained. So you never really get that satisfaction of knowing why this killers really do this. Like is it, is it deeper than just to kill somebody? Is there a mystery behind it? You know, like who are they? Why are they doing this? Did his parents did something or did his parents belong to some kind of organization that made this happen or that le led to this happening? I don't know. I just had a lot of ideas in my head and 
a lot of scenarios that in the end didn't quite play out because the villains were not talked about as much. And Neil Gaiman kind of concentrated more on the main character, which is fine. It was still a very, very, very enjoyable book. However, I did wish it had a little bit more talking about the villains personality and the villains motives but that was not the case so that is the only reason why I gave it 4.5 instead of 5 stars overall I did love this book I think that's kind of obvious by now and one of the reasons I love this book so much aside from the wonderful main character and the easy to read writing style and the way that the book carried its mystery and you know, the desire to keep turning the pages. It's also because this book carried a lot of weight and depth to it. There is a big meaning to the story and I love kids stories that carry a meaning or a secret message per se. Not necessarily secret, but it carries a message to the story that is not just what you're reading. It's something you gain from reading the story and this book definitely had that. It was very sentimental and when I was done reading it I was still thinking about it, you know, about all the characters and I just kept wondering what would, you know, happen if it were to continue. I don't know, I just really really like this book. I think everyone should read this book because it was so wonderful and amazing and you should go and read it if you haven't read it yet. So 4.5 out of 5 stars and again this is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. The first Neil Gaiman book I've read did not disappoint me and that's great. I can't wait to read more from this writer. I will definitely be reading more from this writer. So thank you very much Jesse, for recommending him to me. And thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye!